this video, we're gonna look at some of the SEO myths. Why are you laughing? Sure. Uh, <laughs> SEO myths, and you know, just, just kind of get my take on it. Um, so let's get started. Number one, SEO is a fraud. Well, who knew, right? If it was a fraud, I don't know why people are ranking higher, uh, better than other people. Um, so what, what does it say? They, this is of course a myth. They said they promised to get you to the top of search engine results page for $50 per month, but it never happened. Thus, everything which is called SEO is a big fat lie. All right, if you watched my last video about uh, the Fiverr gigs, the $50 offers that you should completely stay away from, that's what this is mentioning. Of course, if you do those kind of gigs, it's not gonna work. SEO is a long-term commitment. It is a long-term strategy for business uh, to get your website making money for your business. And so, yes, SEO is not a fraud, in my opinion. But hey, it's biased, so who knows? Number two, SEO is all shenanigans. Well, you know, I don't know what to say about that because uh, people search stuff and people click on certain things. And there are websites ranking better than other ones, like I said before. Uh, what does this say? You Google something, click the result, and all you get is a text stuff with keywords, duplicate content, and suspicious links. Okay, so this may have happened maybe 10 years ago. Uh, in the past, what they did was just stuff, you know, websites with keywords, and they ranked well. That's what worked back then, but it doesn't work anymore. Uh, there are more specific strategies that Google is looking for, so certain signals that they want to see. Um, so just like kind of like how people have reputation and reputation is built on what, what type of people knows them. What, what, what am I trying to say? Um, <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> if you think about uh, reputation for human beings, uh, it's based on who's pointing to you, right? Who, who's saying you are worthy of gaining that respect. It's the same thing for websites. Um, Google's really looking out for websites. So the type of websites that are uh, pointing to you are relevant to what you should be ranking for. Number three, Google is at war with SEO. Um, I mean, Google does change. So their algorithm does change from time to time. Um, so one of the recent ones in the past year was one where they really penalized some of the health-related websites because you know some of these health-related websites that are selling products or information was not accurate, was not backed by data. And so to really clean that up, um, they really made sure that was down packed. And so those type of websites were affected, but as long as you're following the right you know, criteria for what Google is looking for, you're not doing anything shady, you're gonna be fine. You might have fluctuations in rankings, but at the end of the day, they're gonna like what you're doing. Uh, number four, one-time SEO effort is enough. So this is kind of like trying to do the Fiverr gig and expecting something to happen overnight. SEO, again, takes a bit of time. Um, it's not something that happens overnight. Anyways, um, and so you do need a significant amount, depending on what you're trying to rank for. If it's local business, it's a lot easier Depending on industry, some of these are a lot easier than, let's say, trying to do an e-commerce store and trying to brand nationally for a lot of different things. And so, but definitely it's not a one-time effort. Number five, and we'll keep this as the final one. I know there's 13 in this article, but you know, it can get really long. Um, link building is dangerous. What does it say? The Google guys use every opportunity when asked publicly to show they are not too thrilled about link building. Yes, I've seen these tweets too from you know whoever's working at Google, um, but link building happens naturally. So let's say one of your products goes viral for some reason and you have all these media channels pointing to you. That's link building, right? Uh, they're hyperlinking their articles and, and their uh, content to your website. That's essentially what link building is. And if that's happening naturally, would Google really dislike that? Especially if it's something relevant and very appropriate for that website? No, so link building is something that SEO agencies take care of. And that is one of the main strategies, the bread and butter, the meat and potatoes, I guess you can say, of SEO, of what really makes sure your websites are getting pushed forward for the rankings that you want to achieve. So now this is, yeah, this is definitely a myth. And 
hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I try to keep it entertaining as well as educating about what SEO really is um, and try to you know overcome some of these uh, misconceptions that some people might have, whether they've heard it from their friends or read it online. Um, and so hopefully you got some value out of this video and I look forward to having you join me on my next video. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. See you on the next one.